there are two main themes that uh, uh, sister, twin sisters, Sally Ravenna, uh, it's uh, the name under which they're working, uh, are using it often in their work. And yeah, I could really discern two main and two most important themes. Uh, one and the first one which with, uh, with which they started is the theme of the ideal individual and uh, who is deciding uh, uh, what are the norms and what are the standards and how society is actually setting these norms and shaping uh, uh, this ideal of beauty and ideal of uh, aesthetical idea of, of human body. So there are many examples in the history, but uh, the one they took and the one that is most important for them is the case of the fashion industry and how fashion industry, based on the experience uh, one of them, Angelique uh, Raven had while working with uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, uh, so is that these standards are so high that are really uh, putting an enormous pressure, enormous pressure of thinness, of slim models that really are uh, like ghosts walking on these catwalks. So this is the first uh, topic that they are dealing with. And a second one is, of course, the, uh, the one of uh, being a twin. What does it mean? And a twin for them, being identical twin, is a constant struggle. It's the constant uh, game of love and hate. It's a constant uh, compromise, it's a constant fight how to work together, how to deal with other personality and how to achieve the individuation. Because they are sometimes seen as one unit. So most of their works uh, are dealing with this issue, thematizing the secret garden, the secret language, the codes and rituals the twins share, the love and hate again that they are uh, somehow uh, always part of their growing and always part of their individuation. They're also trying to work with different, uh, let's say, groups of uh, individuals. Let's say they work with uh, uh, people with eating disorders, they work with teenagers, they work with, uh, let's say, uh, ballet dancers in different videos. And a particularly important moment in their work was when they started presenting themselves in a form of a performance, which is a case of the uh, video installation uh, uh, titled Wild Zone 1 that first happened uh, at the exhibition in uh, Rotterdam in Vite de Witt, uh, which had the same title. So in this exhibition, the two of them were present uh, for a long time in a gallery uh, with uh, their t-shirts on and uh, practically surrounded with uh, uh, their rituals of eating with glasses of wine, but it was not just wine, they combined this wine with uh, their bodily fluids, with urine and with the, some chips, snacks, and it was a performance of daily rituals they have in sharing food. They feeding each other, uh, splitting the same portions of chips, feeding and giving it to each other's mouth. So that was the ritual that created some kind of uh, uh, let's say repulsion, even uh, some people at the exhibition that attended the performance were disgusted by the thin figures of the artists that they regarded almost as sick. And they were also rep uh, rep uh, somehow, uh, let's say, uh, offended, I would even say, by the smell, by the smell of the bodily fluids that was so, uh, so spreading out so strongly in the gallery space. But the idea was exactly to create the zone for themselves, to create a, some kind of space uh, that is marked, almost like an animal marked this by the scent, the space that is reserved for them, uh, just for them.